gentlemen, this is going to be one of the greatest fanfics I've ever read. It's Future Meets the Past. Mordecai and Rigby were washing the golf carts, which was part of their everyday jobs. As always, Rigby was the first to get bored. Mordecai, Rigby whined, can we go behind that bush and make out now? No, dude, Mordecai replied. We need to do this before Benson comes back. He'll be pissed if we don't finish this. Ugh, Rigby groaned, as he put his rag into the bucket of water and walked over to Mordecai. Benson's always pissed at us. Besides, you don't want to leave your husband unsatisfied, would you? I guess they're married now. As he said this, he was rub rubbing Mordecai's stomach sensually, which he knew Mordecai liked. Mordecai sighed, enjoying the rub. Okay, fine, he said, knowing that he couldn't resist. Mordecai put his rag down, grabbed Rigby's paw, and ran over to a bush near the house. Mordecai sat down on the grass and had Rigby sit in his lap. They began to kiss each other. The raccoon had wrapped his tail around Mordecai, and the blue giant had wrapped his wings around Rigby. They were kissing for about five minutes, when they were about to do more, and Mordecai suddenly heard a noise. He had pulled away. Rigby, did you hear that? Mordecai asked. Hear what? Rigby replied, not wanting to stop what they were doing. He began to kiss Mordecai's chest. I don't know, but maybe I think we should stop. It could be Benson looking for us. Rigby pulled his head out of Mordecai's chest. Oh, come on, Rigby whined. What if, who cares if Benson finds us? Probably because he does the same thing with Pops. Now stop being a D-bag and do me. Dude, I'm serious. Someone might find us. We need to get back to... <laughs> Two voices yelled. Mordecai and Rigby looked up, but the two people the voices belonged to disappeared. The two husbands looked at each other, then stood up and got out from behind the bush. The two people who had saw them, well, how did they see them? They're behind the bush. The two people who had saw them were still standing there, their backs turned away from the two slackers. I think I turned blind, one figure said. Yeah, me too, the other figure said. Hey, Rigby yelled. Who are you guys? You act like you've never seen two people kiss before. When the two figures turned around, Mordecai and Rigby were in shock. Anaphylactic shock, maybe. One of the two figures looked exactly like Mordecai, only he was slightly shorter, had brown feathers instead of blue, and the feathers were real more rounded. The other figure looked exactly like Rigby, only they had blue fur instead of brown. Their fur was slightly spikier, and they had a purple flower in their fur next to their ear. Who are you, Mordecai and Rigby, said in unison. Oh, they saw us, the one who looked like Mordecai said. Well, I'm Reggie. And I'm Madeline, the blue raccoon said. We're your kids from the future. Mordecai and Rigby stood there and looked at each other. They then fainted, hitting the ground with a thump. Well, I wasn't expecting that, Reggie. Oh, yeah, well, what did you expect? So, yeah. I was, Madeline said, as she folded her arms. Five minutes later, Mordecai and Rigby started to come to, their eyes cracking open. They saw Reggie and Madeline looking at them, concerned in their faces. Thank God you're all right, Madeline said, a smile on her face. Mordecai and Rigby just lay there, staring at the two kids. The slackers then began to scream as they crawled away from their children. Who the H are you, Mordecai asked frantically as the two kids stood up. Madeline sighed. Didn't we just tell you? We're your kids from the future. What don't you get, Reggie said? The kids part or the future part? Everything, Mordecai and Rigby yelled in unison. Wait a sec, Mordecai said. Did, did we adopt you? Nope, Reggie replied. We are your blood children. How is that possible, Rigby asked. We're both guys. <laughs> yes, this makes biological sense. You know, we've always wondered that ourselves, Madeline said, but I guess anything can happen to you guys. So Rigby, have fun birthing us. Have fun birthing us.